Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wives For You channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sister Wives Season 19 is becoming an emotional roller coaster in the middle of the season. The latest season follows the aftermath of Christine, Janelle, and Mary's departure. Following his family's breakdown, Cody begins to point fingers, especially at himself. However, it appears that the turmoil is far from ended, as TLC has given additional spoilers for episodes 10 to 14. Continue reading to view the descriptions. Sister Wives, David Woolley pops the question, Cody Brown gets emotional in episodes 10 to 11. According to TLC, the 10th episode of Sister Wives season 19 will feature Christine and David's romance moving at light speed. David also gets down on one knee, and asks Christine to marry him on their trip to Moab. However, it will be an emotional experience for some of Christine's children. One of them was Isabel, who broke down because she was afraid she might lose her biological father, Cody, forever. According to the description, Mary will ask Cody for assistance in moving to Parowan. The 11th episode will also show Cody's emotional side, as he helps his former first wife relocate. Mary was also perplexed as to why Cody, would become so emotional after years of excluding her from his life. Episode 11 will also feature Janelle and David's first meeting. Tensions rise at the Coyote Pass property in episode 12. The 12th episode of Sister Wives season 19 will also show issues at the Coyote Pass estate. According to the description, the deadline for paying off the property is nearing. However, the family is still disputing about how to share the land. Aside from the property, Mary Brown plans an empowering solo trip to England. Janelle and Christine will also throw a graduation celebration for Savannah. In episodes 13 to 14 of Sister Wives, ex-wives go their own ways, and Cody and Robin Brown go on a date. Christine Brown will be shopping for a wedding dress in Sister Wives season 19's 13th episode. Meanwhile, Mary seeks assistance from two of her pals as she struggles to cope with her new life. Aurora and Brianna will also approach Robin about returning to the church. TLC has also provided the storyline for season 19's 14th episode. According to the network, the episode will feature Cody and Robin going on a date in an apparent attempt to embrace their monogamous marriage. Cody will also rail against their old church. Christine, on the other hand, will celebrate her engagement with David Woolley while Mary and Jen head to Las Vegas to dish her spiritual freedom from Cody. Sister Wives Season 19 Episodes 11-14 to will premiere on TLC on November 24, December 1, 8, 15, and 22 respectively. For more Sister Wives news, check back with TV shows Ace. Did Sister Wives star Christine Woolley purposefully overshadow her own daughter, Gwen, on one of the most crucial days of her life? She certainly ended up taking over the latter's bridal shower and making it all about herself. Fans observed how everything altered, focusing on Christine and her dynamics rather than Gwen. This clearly did not sit well with viewers, as they noticed Christine's shocking antics. As a result, they pointed out that she was outshining the bride-to-be. Is that true? Did Christine wreck her daughter's special day? Is this why she didn't attend Christine's wedding? What is this all about? Continue reading to hear some disturbing realities. Christine and Gwen, sister wives, aren't getting along? Gwen surprised the entire sister wives fan base by not attending Christine's wedding. She was missing without more warning or justification, sparking quarrel speculations. Michael T. revealed that her mother was devastated to learn that her daughter did not even pay enough attention to attend her special day. However, the dynamics appear to have worsened much further. Some viewers noted that Gwen is no longer following Christine on Instagram. She has unfollowed the latter, while the matriarch continues to follow her daughter. This shows that the star youngster isn't ready to stay connected to Christine. Fans were initially shocked until they witnessed the possible cause of this conflict themselves. What did they see? Sister wives, did Christine ruin Gwen's bridal shower? Christine finally agreed to invite David Woolley to Gwen's bridal shower according to a recent Sister Wives episode. As a result, the dynamics shifted away from Gwen and toward the pair as soon as they entered. 
Everyone was taking turns talking to David and Christine, while the major event of the evening was perhaps overlooked. Furthermore, Cody and Robin attended the occasion, which made matters worse. All eyes were on Cody and David's conversation, and whether or not they got along. Following all of this, a Reddit thread recently highlighted these incidents and blamed Christine of destroying her daughter's special day. The OP recalled how Christine and David chose to get matching tattoos, and the cameras were only focused on them. This probably wouldn't have sat well with Gwen, as this new couple clearly took the spotlight from her presentation. Viewers speculated that after all of this drama, the star kid would decide not to film her wedding and keep everything private. However, some critics argue that this cannot be totally Christine's responsibility because it could be a result of production demand. Perhaps the producers used Gwen's bridal shower to get Cody and David together and capture their first meeting. Christine merely followed the directions and went with the flow, so it's possible that Gwen was furious with her mother since she ruined her day for the purpose of the show. After only a few months of dating, they connected and began looking for wedding venues. However, they are not yet fully involved. In the forthcoming episode on Sunday night, fans will witness David drop down on one knee and propose to Christine. How did everything go down? Christine Brown fondly reflects on her big proposal. Christine Brown's first wedding to Cody was a low-key affair, as Sister Wives fans are aware. In retrospect, she's frequently complained that it was a dreary occasion rather than a celebration. She wanted the complete opposite for her wedding to David. Fans have already seen the wedding special, which aired in January, but now they will also see the proposal. We got to this gorgeous overlook, and we're just sitting there staring. Christine remembers the important moment while hiking with others, as revealed in a people sneak peek. So David's pal says, Hey, do you want me to use your camera? And will I snap a picture of you two here? I'm like, yes, that'd be great. As the two pose for the photo, David expresses how much he enjoys being with her in his favorite location. Then the video cuts to the big moment. So you remember how we spoke about getting married? All the good times we've enjoyed thus far. David asks the TLC star, Well, I want to marry you. Would you want to marry me? Oh God, yes. Christine exclaims as she drops everything to get the ring. He's just so sweet and romantic, and he's just real. She says warmly of her now husband during a confessional. I had no idea he was going to propose, and it's really stupid. I should have put it together. But as soon as he started talking, I knew this was it. I was receiving a legitimate proposition. David Woolley and Cody Brown met in person during last week's episode. Fans were excited to see how David Woolley and Cody Brown would connect when they met for the first time. They met during the show that aired on Sunday night. While the incident was undoubtedly uncomfortable for everyone involved, no one came to blows. Fortunately, it appears that Christine and David Woolley are living their best lives as a married couple today. Are you excited to see the big proposal? Please share your own thoughts and suggestions in the comments. This Sunday night at 10 p.m. Eastern Time, TLC will air the latest episode of Sister Wives. Check back with TV shows Ace Online to find out what happens next with the Brown family. Furthermore, they are off. At long last, after more than a year of being together, David Woolley and Christine Brown eventually set off for a couple of days to commemorate this occasion. They undoubtedly went on a getaway. The Sister Companions cast members toured many European destinations, including Barcelona, Spain and Florence, Italy, on a virgin excursions journey. Furthermore, everyone seemed to have had a great time. On November 4th, Brown said on Instagram, We are finally on our extraordinary evening. He shared footage of several milestones, including a visit to the Sagrada Familia. Believe it or not, following a year, we just decided to take as much time as is required and go when we were ready. We love Barcelona, the plan food and people. Brown and Willie exchanged guarantees in Moab, Utah. In October 2023, the pass was clearly identified with Cody Brown for more than two decades until he left the proud polygamist in late 2021. She has basically rambled on about Willie since the two met, frequently indicating him as her ideal accomplice and long-term love. In a photo posted on Instagram in June, the 52-year-old offered a review of herself 
and her significant other spending a calm night watching the sunset. Each step of my cycle brought me here. Brown engraved on images of the couple with their backs to the camera. Watching the night fall with my time everlasting affection. Thankful for each subsequent that drove us to this wonderful beginning. Hashtag newly married hashtag sunset views hashtag grateful heart. Christine, who is seeking Cody for child support in full custody of their daughter. Also saw Florence's Duomo, the Ponte Vecchio range, Michelangelo's statue of David, and truly during their departure. Christine captioned her November 11th Instagram video with the following. Florence knocked my socks off. Artful culminations out of control. I have been yearning for an excursion to Florence since I watched the 1985 A Room, with a view hashtag dream comma true hashtag Florence hashtag Duomo hashtag Virgin Voyages hashtag honeymoon hashtag need to go back. Christine will confront Cody in court over the issue of their minor child. But her primary focus these days is on her previously unfathomable and clearly magnificent feeling. Yet again, I feel like it's great to start in another part, Christine recently told E. With David, she gains new insight into her reality. Yet again we're similarly starting in another part. Some Sister Wives fans are doubting Christine Brown Woolley and Mary Brown's connection after they had a common link about leaving Cody. In light of their poignant exchange, several fans are disappointed that Christine did not support her former sister wife Mary. Christine Brown Woolley and Mary Brown experienced ups and downs. On the most recent Sister Wives episode, Christine Brown Woolley and Mary Brown shared a touching moment at Gwen Brown and Beatrice Carraza's wedding shower. Christine and Mary's relationship has certainly had its ups and downs throughout the years. Both of their personalities are quite obstinate about what they believe is correct in marriage, child-rearing, and their relationships with each of the sister wives. While the sentimental moment at the party moved many fans to tears, others are wondering why Christine hasn't been there for Mary during the divorce. Fans are upset because Christine doesn't support Mary Brown. On Reddit, some Sister Wives fans are shocked by Christine Brown Willie's lack of support for her former sister wife Mary Brown. First, a user states, Christine was extremely rude to Mary. Then they add, it's often brought up that Mary didn't support Christine when she left Cody especially when Mary remarked. I'm pleased Cody said it in reaction to Cody's harsh words toward Christine. But why don't we talk about how Christine failed to support Mary following the catfish incident? Years of neglect and maltreatment, which Christine later suffered in Flagstaff before leaving, resulted in the catfish situation, and by Cody's own admission, the collapse of their marriage. The Redditor also offered points of concern about Christine and Mary's relationship. Then they conclude, given all of this, I completely understand why Mary did not support Christine after leaving Cody. Christine was incredibly cruel and mean to Mary, and it is not discussed enough. Fans weigh in. Let's face it, the entire scenario is a shit show. I am late in watching, but I blame Cody for everything. I'm not sure who did what to whom, but Cody managed to hurt 13 children and three spouses, much to Robin's delight. The OG3 had something in common. They were abandoned by Cody and saw their children be mistreated and forgotten, while ours children were living it up. I cannot criticize Mary, Christine, or Janelle. Blame Cody. He did all of this, and Robin gets the credit. I agree. Ultimately, this is all on Cody. Polygamy frequently pits women against one another for the man's benefit. I'm just weary of people rationalizing Christine's exclusion of Mary by saying, Mary was cruel to Christine, while ignoring Christine's own behavior toward Mary. Cody is the true villain here, and to be honest, Christine's admirers should think about that before blaming Mary. Christine was not the only one who didn't support Mary Brown. Although Sister Wives fans can point to particular instances in which Christine Brown was not supportive of Mary Brown, others point out that she was not alone. Honestly? Because none of those women supported each other at all. Janelle and Christine may be friends now, but that was not always the case. They were constantly battling for Cody's attention and to be his favorite. They were always willing to blame the other wife in order to get Cody's favor. Ultimately, it is all Cody's fault. I don't necessarily believe Christine was alone in ostracizing Mary. I believe Mary had been distancing herself to begin with, but after the catfishing occurred, 
she was in Cody's crosshairs, and the other three were not about to side with Mary and place themselves right there with her. No, certainly not. Everyone did it. Cody was done with her, and the others knew it was open season on Mary. They could all trash, speak about, and scapegoat her as they pleased. What are your thoughts on Christine Brown Woolley's lack of support after Mary Brown eventually left Cody Brown? Do you believe it was mean? Do you believe it has to do with their relationship breakdown when Christine left Cody? Did catfishing play a major role? What are your thoughts on Sister Wives Season 19? Tell us what you think in the comments below. Janelle Brown, actress of Sister Wives, has reduced the price of her late son Robert Garrison Brown's home as she struggles to sell it. Janelle, 55, originally offered Garrison's property for $425,000 in September, but the price was reduced to $399,900 on October 3rd. After being on the market for two months, Janelle reduced the price to $389,900 on Monday, November 11th. Garrison paid $329,000 for the 1,400-square-foot home in Flagstaff, Arizona, in 2021. According to the InTouch listing, the property has four bedrooms, two full bathrooms, and two parking places. The home also has fresh paint, vinyl floors, and air conditioning as well as a living room with a gas fireplace, kitchen, pantry, laundry, and a den on the main level. A small walled courtyard and a fenced backyard are also incorporated on the exterior of the house. Garrison, whom Janelle shared with ex Cody Brown, committed suicide in March when he was 25 years old. Janelle and Cody, 55, acknowledged their son's death in a joint statement posted on social media shortly after it made headlines. Cody and I are deeply saddened to announce the loss of our beautiful boy Robert Garrison Brown. The former couple stated at the time, he was a shining light in the lives of everyone who knew him. His death will leave such a void in our lives that we will find it difficult to breathe. We ask that you respect our privacy and join us in remembering his legacy. While many members of the Brown family have paid tribute to Garrison since his death, Christine Brown recently revealed how she was grieving his loss in an interview with Entertainment Tonight. I'm just gonna have to embrace that pain, because it's never going to go away, she told the publication in an interview published on November 7th. It will always be there. There will always be a garrison-sized hole. It is challenging. She went on to say that Garrison's death was heartbreaking, and that it was the hardest thing ever. Christine provided an update on Janelle's condition, after revealing that she kept Garrison's memory alive by keeping images of him in her home. It isn't even a good day or poor day. It's a good day until you remember, and then it gets really really hard, the TV personality explained. Christine finished the chat by discussing how Sister Wives fans should grieve and appreciate Garrison's legacy. If someone is struggling, don't wait to call them, she told me. And if someone is really struggling with alcoholism, or mental health issues call them. This is not a text. Or you go see them and spend time with your loved ones. Janelle has also paid tribute to her late son, writing a heartfelt post on Instagram on the sixth month anniversary of his death. You left six months ago today. You appear in my photo memories almost every day, she said, accompanying a snapshot of Garrison kissing her on the cheek. Sometimes it doesn't seem like you've left. And then I remember I won't be receiving a call or text from you. And everything comes flooding back. I know you battled hard, but you simply couldn't remain. I adore you and look forward to seeing you again when my adventure is complete. Cody Brown and Robin Brown are struggling financially. The shocking truth behind their $1.6 million mansion sale. Cody and Robin Brown's financial struggles. The shocking reality of their $1.6 million mansion. Cody Brown and his wife Robin may have been living the high life as stars of Sister Wives, but recent reports suggest the once prosperous reality TV couple is now struggling to keep up with their finances. Despite having the spotlight on them for over a decade, the Browns are facing an unexpected financial crisis, leaving many fans to wonder what's really going on behind the scenes. You might expect Cody to be living at large after the departure of three of his wives, but the reality is far from glamorous. In fact, he's listed his beautiful mansion for $1.6 million, and sources say the decision was driven by financial strain. 
Here's everything we know about Cody and Robin's struggle to stay afloat, whether selling their property, and how the sister wives couple is trying to manage their financial woes. Cody Brown lists his mansion for $1.6 million. Financial trouble in paradise? Cody and Robin's massive Arizona mansion was once the symbol of the Brown family's success. But now, the home is up for sale, and fans are shocked by the decision. The couple's $1.6 million listing raises many questions, especially since Cody and Robin are known for flaunting their luxurious lifestyle on sister wives. An insider close to the Brown family revealed exclusively to the U.S. Sun that Cody and Robin are finding the mansion to be too expensive to maintain, especially after the family was torn apart. The couple can no longer afford to live in such a grand property with their family situation in turmoil. Cody and Robin listed their home because it's become a huge expense they can no longer afford, especially now with the family torn apart. Why sell the mansion? Cody and Robin struggle to keep up with their luxurious lifestyle. If you've been following sister wives closely, you know that Cody Brown has always prided himself on providing for his family, even as he navigates his unconventional polygamous relationships. But the aftermath of three wives leaving him has clearly taken a toll on his finances. While it may seem like Cody's reality TV fame should be enough to keep him living comfortably, the costs of maintaining a massive mansion are simply too high. The couple's decision to sell the property comes at a time when they're grappling with an uncertain future. With the family fractured and less income from TV appearances, it's become clear that their lavish lifestyle is no longer sustainable. A mansion on two acres. What's really behind the $1.6 million listing? The house itself is stunning, set on two acres of land, complete with spacious living areas, a luxurious pool, and plenty of room for the entire Brown family. But despite the property's beauty and size, Cody and Robin have found themselves struggling to cover the costs. The home may have been the perfect place for their family when it was intact, but now, with the departure of Cody's other wives, the house feels too big for just him and Robin. The Sister Wives fans may also remember the Coyote Pass property, another piece of land Cody and his wives purchased with dreams of building a private compound. Coyote Pass sits on five acres of untouched land, and it was meant to be a sprawling home base for each wife. However, according to the insider, construction on Coyote Pass has stalled due to the high costs of building. And of course, the fact that Cody's family structure has drastically changed. They haven't done any work on Coyote Pass because of how much it will cost to build, and of course, stopped their plans altogether once the wives left. Cody Brown takes to Cameo, the new side hustle to make ends meet. In a surprising turn of events, Cody Brown has turned to Cameo to make extra money. For those unfamiliar, Cameo is a platform where fans can pay celebrities for personalized video messages. Cody has started offering custom videos on Cameo, with prices starting at $149. Fans can request birthday or holiday greetings from Cody, ask for relationship advice, or even receive words of encouragement. And if that's not enough, Cody has even offered to show off his signature dance moves for a fee. It's clear that Cody is doing everything he can to stay afloat financially, but how much of a difference will Cameo make in helping him manage his massive expenses? The Brown family's future. What's next for Cody and Robin? The decision to sell the mansion and move on from Coyote Pass is a clear indication that Cody and Robin are facing a financial crossroads. Their family dynamic has changed drastically over the past year and it appears that the money just isn't flowing in the way it once did. While Cody continues to work on his cameo side hustle, it's unclear how long the couple can keep up with their financial obligations. The cost of the mansion, combined with the halted plans for Coyote Pass, paints a picture of a family struggling to maintain the lifestyle they've grown accustomed to. Will they be able to recover from this financial strain, or will the sale of their home mark the end of an era for Cody and Robin? Fans of Sister Wives are anxiously awaiting more updates as the Browns navigate these difficult times. Is Cody Brown's reality TV fame enough to keep up with his lifestyle? One of the biggest questions surrounding Cody's financial situation is whether or not his reality TV fame can continue to support his family's needs.
While Cody's salary from Sister Wives has likely been substantial over the years, it may not be enough to cover the costs of maintaining multiple properties, a large family, and a lavish lifestyle. Despite being on television for over a decade, Cody and Robin's financial struggles are a reminder that fame doesn't always equate to financial security. The realities of maintaining a multi-million dollar lifestyle are hitting hard for the Browns, and fans are left wondering how they'll navigate this new chapter. The emotional toll, Cody and Robin's strained relationship. While the financial difficulties are certainly significant, the emotional toll on Cody and Robin's relationship cannot be overlooked. With the departure of Cody's other wives, the couple's bond has likely been tested in ways they never anticipated. Robin has been by Cody's side through thick and thin, but the loss of their family unit may have shaken their once solid foundation. Will Cody and Robin be able to overcome these challenges and emerge stronger? Or will the mounting stress of financial instability tear them apart? A new chapter for the Browns? What's next for Cody and Robin? As Cody and Robin continue to face financial pressures, the future of their family is uncertain. Will they be able to sell the mansion? and move on to a more affordable living situation? Can Cody's side hustle on Cameo provide the extra cash they need to keep their heads above water? And what about their plans for Coyote Pass? Only time will tell how the Browns will fare in this new chapter. Fans of Sister Wives will no doubt be watching closely to see what happens next. Will Cody Brown ever fully move on from his past? The shocking truth about his journey to healing and forgiveness. Cody Brown's path to recovery. Can he ever let go of the past? For years, Cody Brown's life and relationships with his wives were the centerpiece of the hit reality show Sister Wives. But now, after a tumultuous period of breakups, divorces, and dramatic life changes, fans are asking, will Cody ever fully move on from the past? Or is his road to healing still just beginning? As Cody opens up about his journey to recovery in a candid interview with People, it's clear that he's making strides in moving forward. But how far has he really come? And will he ever truly let bygones be bygones? One thing is for certain, Cody is taking the necessary steps to heal. The fall of Cody Brown's polygamous family, a life transformed. Cody's once thriving polygamous family has now all but crumbled, leaving the Brown patriarch in an entirely new chapter of his life. In November 2021, his third wife, Christine Brown, made the heartbreaking decision to divorce him. For Cody, it was a devastating blow, but little did he know, the turmoil was just beginning. A year later, Janelle Brown, his second wife, decided to walk away from the marriage in December 2023. It was a moment Cody surely never anticipated. As if that wasn't enough, in January 2023, his first wife, Mary Brown, followed suit and ended their union as well. At the time, Cody was left with just Robin Brown, his legal wife. But how is he coping with the loss of three wives, the dissolution of his dreams for a polygamous family, and the shifting dynamics in his relationships? Cody Brown speaks out about his emotional journey, a future of forgiving. In a recent exclusive interview with People, Cody reflected on his tumultuous journey and how he's looking toward the future. Cody, now 55, shared his thoughts on what lies ahead for him as he seeks to move forward emotionally, mentally and spiritually. Really I just look forward to a future of a lot of forgiving and a lot more understanding, Cody said, acknowledging the painful transition he's been through. His statement is a clear indication that Cody has accepted the reality of his situation. He's no longer a husband to four wives, but just one. The concept of polygamy, which had defined his life for so long, has been irreversibly altered. A family torn apart. Cody's attempt to heal the wounds. For Cody, the path to healing involves not just forgiving his ex-wives, but also finding peace with himself. He's come to terms with the emotional toll of losing three wives and the family structure that he once envisioned. But Cody insists that healing is not just about his own internal struggles. There's still hope for a future of peace and understanding with his ex-wives. You have to express forgiveness to the people you've been involved with, Cody said. He recognizes that the relationships he had with his ex-wives were complicated, but he believes that forgiveness and understanding are key to finding peace. Cody's words suggest that, despite the separation, 
He still holds on to the hope that he and his ex-wives can move past the pain and one day forge a new, healthier relationship. One rooted in friendship and mutual respect, especially for the sake of their children. We're bound forever through our kids, Cody said. Even though the family is no longer united, the children they share together remain an undeniable connection that Cody seems to want to honor. Cody Brown, I need to forgive myself too. In a powerful moment of self-reflection, Cody also shared that he's been working on forgiving himself. As he confronts the anger and bitterness that often comes with divorce, he recognizes that healing starts with self-compassion. I got to find that space of grace and love for myself as well. Be it really forgiving of simple things, like just being angry about what has happened, Cody said. His focus now is on letting go of the resentment and bitterness that have weighed him down for so long. It's clear that Cody's personal growth is a crucial part of his healing process. Cody struggles with faith. You feel like God doesn't exist. In an earlier interview with People, Cody shared how the collapse of his polygamous marriage affected his relationship with faith. Moving forward, Cody admits that the pain of divorce left him questioning everything, even his belief in God. Moving forward is still one of those things where you go through a divorce. You almost feel like God doesn't exist, and you're so angry, so bitter, Cody said. But Cody is working through this spiritual crisis, trying to let go of the anger and bring positivity back into his life. You need to let some sunshine back in, Cody said. This metaphor for healing reflects his desire to find light after a dark chapter in his life. It's clear that Cody is navigating his way through the emotional wreckage of his past, searching for peace both within himself and with the universe. Cody's new life, is monogamy the answer? As Cody works to recover from his failed polygamous marriages, he's come to realize that a future of monogamy may be the key to his happiness. In his latest interviews, Cody has acknowledged the challenges of transitioning to a monogamous relationship after being accustomed to polygamy for so long. But with the end of his plural marriages, it seems Cody is finally ready to embrace a future that's different from what he once envisioned. We're just in a transitionary point where I am letting sunshine back in, Cody explained. The reality star seems ready to leave his past behind, though the road ahead will undoubtedly be filled with challenges. What's next for Cody and Robin? Can this marriage survive? Now that Cody's family is smaller, with just Robin remaining by his side, fans are wondering what the future holds for the couple. Will Cody and Robin's marriage survive, or will they face the same fate as Cody's previous unions? Despite all the hardships Cody has endured, he's optimistic about the future. In his recent interview, Cody stressed that he's not giving up hope for a peaceful and loving future with Robin. However, Cody's feelings of optimism don't erase the undeniable challenges ahead, especially given the emotional wounds from his past marriages. Cody Brown's Long Road to Forgiveness Will he ever fully move on? As Cody Brown moves forward on his journey to emotional recovery, one question remains. Will he ever fully move on from his past? It seems that, while he's making strides in healing and forgiveness, the road ahead will be long and difficult. For Cody, the key to moving on is not only forgiving others, but also forgiving himself. He's had to confront painful truths, including his failed marriages and the emotional damage they caused. But Cody remains hopeful that in time, he will reach a place of peace and acceptance. Will Cody Brown ever fully let go of his past and embrace a future of peace and happiness? Only time will tell, but one thing is clear. He's working hard to find a new path. Stay tuned for more updates on Cody Brown's journey toward forgiveness and recovery as he continues to navigate the aftermath of his past and look forward to the future. Will Cody's dreams of peace come true? Find out next on Sister Wives and Beyond.